Happy evening, everybody, or morning or afternoon, wherever you find yourself today. Ah, how's everyone? Hope you are all doing well. So I, I wanted to talk today um, about imposter syndrome because I know this was a massive block for me for such a long time. And sometimes I still catch myself too. And I'm like, oh no, I feel like this is like this person's idea. Um, or, oh, well, they, they're talking about it, so I can't. And I'm curious, and I have a feeling that there might be some of you out there who maybe have had that same feeling. So here's my belief. And in a lot of the um, learning that I'm engaged in, feeds my thought process around this. So when you read or listen to someone else, so another mentor or teacher or artist or um, scientist, whatever field you're in, whenever you listen to someone and something that you hear resonates with you. So when it resonates, when it rings that bell of like, oh man, yes, like I was just thinking that or oh, I totally know what the, what they're talking about. So when it resonates with you, that's a piece of information that is a remembrance of your inner knowing, of your inner wisdom. And, and really, like, a resonance is, um, is an abundant feeling. So when it, when it resonates, you're thinking like, oh, yeah, that sense of connection. You feel connected. You feel that tie. Um, you feel that sense of community for a second, like that connection to that person. I totally know what they're talking about. And that's an abundant feeling. I'm also going to reason to say that if it resonates with you, it's because you've had in your own personal thought process, in your mind, in your brain, in your energy field, you've been thinking about it to some degree. And that is yours. So this is what I'm like, where it's like, it's awakening, but it's also like ping, pinging with something that makes sense in you, the unique person and, and human that you are. So sometimes I, I people are well, I can't go and do that. And, you know, I was just going to go teach that class or I wanted to do a live and talk about it, but I can't because, um, because it's that person's. So we live in a world of abundance. We are surrounded by an infinite field of energy. And um, in the Bhagavad Gita, what they had said, uh, there's the quote that when abundance is taken from abundance... Abundance is not depleted because it can't be because it's infinite. So in that same sense, um, if something resonates with you, it resonates with you for a certain unique reason within you. And you're not an imposter. This is not, you know, you are meant if it's ignited something uh, coming back to that, that's an experience of abundance in your field. And when abundance is shared, it just magnifies. So actually, this is like the magic of it is you are so meant to share that if something resonated with you, share it with your neighbor, share it online, share it in a course, share it in whatever capacity that you can with your family. Because as you share that tone of abundance, it's going to magnify and you are creating ripples out into the world. So no, it's not imposter syndrome. Don't back away and feel like you're not worthy of it. It was a, it was like this connection, this tone of um, not of unworthiness, of the absolute opposite, this worthy insight into something that connected with you. So um, there and coming around to that, too. So that whole sense that we can't deplete from a field that is absolutely infinite. So again, too, like if, if you want to relate it to real life. So if you're feeling like, oh, well, that person's already doing this idea or this person already ran this course or this person already ran this retreat. Um, we also live in a very huge world and there is enough to go around. And again, if you're resonating with something that is rich and abundant and expansive, 
you've got to. You've got to share it. You have to do it. You can't hold on to it. You're not meant to be a human here in this life to just like hold on to all of the insight and wisdom and knowledge that you have. So when you resonate with other mentors and other teachers and other people out there, you know, that's like, oh, wow, just be like, not the, oh, shoot, someone else is doing it. No, like, look at you, wonderful human being. This absolutely resonates because it's resonating with your worthiness, um, with the magic that you with, that you hold. So don't withhold it. Um, don't let the mind switch to this idea of like, oh, well, oh, this is someone else's idea because it's not, it's yours. Own it. Um, it's, it's your mission to share it. Um, and I write my notes, <laughs> but, but I think I just covered all of it. So I was just peeking down. Um, yeah. And I guess that's just what it all comes back to is when we're in this wild field of abundance. Um, and in that same sense, we are all one, we are all here together. And the more that we recognize the beauty in others as they share their purpose and their mission, like just let's bask and revel in that connection. That's the beauty of community. Um, so it's not um, from this place of lack. It's not from a place of unworthiness. It's the absolute opposite. Um, and together, together we rise. Like I said, as we do that and as we share that, sorry, I'm seeing all these beautiful birds flying around. Um, as we do that and we share and we continue to put it out, we just begin creating more and more of that energy and it helps us to manifest into this world more of the world and the things that we want to be seen. So when you think of that and when you think of how you hold the capacity within your choice of, oh, I can't do it or, oh, yes, oh, this is like Oh, yeah, so much abundance in that. Got to share it. Got to do it. I'm going to launch this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this action. I'm going to say this thing. Um, we begin creating so much more. It's that momentum. So anyhow, you are so wise. You are so worthy. Uh, we need to hear you. We need to know your knowledge, your wisdom, what magic you bring to the world. Uh, so share share please <laughs> oh my goodness thank you so much i see you guys hopping on um hey marcy hey summer um thanks for all the love as i'm chatting it means so much to me when i see you guys come and join on and uh just to know all the wonderful beautiful things that everybody is sharing from their own unique place of worthiness and abundance so i love you guys so much and i will be back um chatting with you guys tomorrow so have a beautiful night i'm sitting here enjoying the sunset um so take care much love peace to you all <laughs>